In this tutorial, I'll review the slotting process on the Mesa Troll control. Start, by navigating to the program page. I have an existing program I'll be adding the slot to. I'll verify I'm in the right program. And select program edit. I'm going to use the Mesa Troll slot process to cut this simple slot. At the bottom of the existing program, I'll start a new unit and select face machining. Then select slot. For a visual aid, I'll open the slot help screen. I'll set the depth of the slot to 0.35 inches, cutting through the part. And use the same value for stock removal Z. The width of the slot is 0.55 inches. The slot is through the part so I'll set bottom roughness to 1. However, I'd like a decent finish on the sides, so I'll use a 5 for wall finish. This has given me 0 for finish allowance in Z, and 14 thousandths on a side for finish allowance on the side walls. I'm going to reduce this to 10 thousandths on each wall. Figure pattern is important to choose correctly since it can't be changed later. 0, or line, is for very simple straight lines allowing only one line, like the slot we're doing. 1, or arbitrary, is for slots defined by more than one line, such as this hypothetical one. I'll give an example of this later. For now, I'll just use line. Chamfer is for the optional chamfer at the top of the slot. I'll set this to 20 thousandths wide. The machine has prompted me for two end mills to make the slot, and a chamfer mill. I'll highlight the first end mill, and select tool data window. Highlight tool number 4 and select OK to choose the 3 eighths end mill. I'll skip priorities for now. Auto set the depth of cut per pass field. Auto set the surface speed and feed rate fields. And set flood coolant to on with an M8. I'll use the same 3 8 end mill for the finish cut. For the chamfer tool, I'll use the tool data window to select my 0.5 inch chamfer tool. Skip priorities and auto set the approach points. I like to use a counterclockwise cut. And I'll feed down in Z to the cut point since I'm in the part. Auto set surface speed and feed rate, and again, set flood coolant on. The shape of a slot is the center line of the slot, not including the radius at the end. The radius is automatically formed based on the width of the slot. The only choice here is line. Starting at the lower point, x is minus 5.95, y is minus 1.25. Since this is a defined point, I don't need any of these other modifiers. Again, I have to choose line. This time I'll enter next, this automatically maintains the previous x value. Then positive 1.25 for the final y point of the line. I don't need any other information to define the slot. Highlighting the top of the slot unit, shows my work in the graphic window, where I can rotate and zoom to inspect what I've done. I'll put a quick end unit on and jump to simulation to see the slot cut. Everything looks good here so I'll go back to the program, and delete the end unit. Before I finish, I want to give you an example of an arbitrary shaped slot. By setting a 1 for arbitrary in the pattern field, I can define my slot with multiple lines and arcs. This gives me a full set of menu items to use in defining the shape of the slot, as opposed to just a line offered in the previous example. However, you are still defining the center of the slot, not including the radius at the end. Slot is a very basic process in Mazatrol but makes things like key slots simple. I'll delete the extra slot unit. And I'm ready to continue programming the part.